Hello, welcome back to Monster Transmissions. You're in Kurt's Corner. We're going to have some more tech information for you. Today we're going to cover the variety of different speedometer gears and how to change them on the 700R4. Now all the GM transmissions and Ford and Dodge transmissions have different mechanical and electronic speedo setups that came from the factory on the, on the transmission. Today we're specifically going to cover a 700R4 speedo gear setup and how to replace them from your original one or to change it to a different gear ratio if you change your rear end or tire size. Um, right now I'm going to show removing, let's say this is your original transmission and you need to change the speedo gears on the transmission or install them on a new unit that you purchased from us. And we'll go through the process of changing the speedo gears. First of all you have, you'll notice you have a housing with a fork bracket and a screw. This screw should always have a 10 millimeter head bolt on it and the threads are metric thread. So we're going to remove that bracket. Okay, so there's the, the bracket removed. The housing you should be able just to twist to unsecure it from the case. That's your factory set of gears that came off your original transmission for example. And now we need to remove the, the extension or tail housing of the transmission. There are basically four bolts. Again, metric thread. Usually the heads on those bolts are 15 millimeter. To remove those four bolts. Now GM did offer a variety of different style tail housings. But the, the size and location of the Speedo gear remained the same between the different years and the different setups. Okay. Now what's exposed is the mechanical drive gear that is on the outside. So this is known as the drive gear and this gear here is known as the driven gear. Okay, they actually work together. And how it works is this gear rides here and as the output shaft is spun it will rotate the driven gear and spin your speedometer cable so read at your dash what speed your vehicle's traveling. Now obviously there's different tire sizes, different rear and gear ratios, and those combinations will change either the driven or drive or both gears. In Monster Transmissions we have a calibrating that, that system. So if you're unsure, if you give us a call, check our customer service, we can tell you what gear, what, what matching set of gears you need to get your odometer accurate. Now I'm going to review how to actually remove your factory gear to either move it to another transmission or replace it. If you notice there is a, a metal clip. That clip is a locking clip that holds the, uh, the drive gear. You basically have to depress that mechanism down and as you depress that clip, you depress this clip, you can get a pair of pliers or a screwdriver and, and tap this mechanism to slide this gear off. So once that gear has slid past it, the clip, those are the two components. You have a clip and the actual gear mechanism itself. You'll notice on the output shaft here, there are two holes. Okay, The clip actually will reside in the hole closest to the front of the transmission. So you want it in this hole location. This will give the correct alignment for the tail housing as it's installed that will be the centered part so this gear will be centered on that. If you put it in the front gear then the gear ratio or the this driven gear will not ride correctly on your dri uh, driven gear. So now that we have these off, the new gear it's going to be a, a new gear so it, this has 15 teeth on it and that one had uh, 17 or 18. You install it back the same way. You put the place the clip into the second hole and you line up the slot in the gear it has one single slot so you can't and it doesn't matter if you put it either side it's the same angle it's the same pitch so as you line this up same thing you'll have to tap it down the shaft
and install it. And it will actually come through the other side of the gear, and this is your locking mechanism. This will lock the gear to where it will not allow this gear during centrifugal force to slide off the shaft. So this will hold it in place. Once that gear is installed, then you have to ensure that your rubber seal on the extension housing is on the tail, not here, or else it will pinch it and it won't fit. It goes on this. Make sure it's flush. You reinstall the tail housing. Install the bolts. Again, they're 15 millimeter thread heads. The thread of the bolts are a 10 millimeter, 1.5 thread, and they're about 30 millimeters long. Now that the tail is secure, you can now install the new Speedo gear, and the, which is here, and the, and the replacement housing. And again, you put some grease here to grease up the seal so you don't cut it as it's installed. You line this up with the housing. And you'll see that the bracket has an alignment pins on the housing. So you'll need to rotate that to get to the correct clocking position. a little more. You align that there and you put your bolt in. And then you just secure the bracket down on the housing. Okay? And there's your installation of the Speedo gear. And once you secure the bolt on the bracket and it's flush. You can notice on the center shaft, if you rotate the output shaft, it should turn the gear. All right, once you've verified that the gear turns, then you know that the, the, gear, the two gears are mashing together correctly and then you attach your speedo cable. It'll screw onto this housing. They're all the same thread on the exterior of the housing and this the cable will slot itself into the center of the driven gear and then that cable obviously goes to your dash to read on your odometer to tell you what speed the vehicle is traveling. Now I'm quickly going to review the variety of style of 700 Speedo gears that are available in a 700R4 transmission. The early years they came with either a Speedo gear housing which ranged from 34 teeth all the way up to 39. The particular housing, we only say 36, but it does go as low as 34. Same thing, they had Speedo gears that went from 40 teeth, goes up to 45. The housing is only marked up to 43, but it still take up to a 45 tooth gear. Now that's a range of gears, so you have speedometer gears on the 700 that will range from 34 all the way up to 45 teeth. The drive gear was available with 15 teeth. Um, 17, 18, and 19 teeth. So those are the variables on the drive gear which will spin the driven gear. GM also offered in the late 80s in Camaro, Firebird, Trans Ams and other applications a uh, digital Speedo setup. And this digital style was mechanical on one side, went to receiver hub and comes out with either a flat spade electronic connector, two wire connector, or a round connector. Okay, both styles were available in some late GM. Then in 1992 and later, most of them were gone to what's called a VSS, which stands for Vehicle Speed Sensor. And it, what it is, is it's a magnetic pickup, and it's a 40 tooth gear, which is on the output shaft. It's in that same spot on the, on the two holes of the output shaft, you have this gear pressed on, and it will actually strobe past rotate past the sensor, the vehicle speed sensor, and that pulse will tell the, the computer what speed you're traveling. And this is available again from let's say 1992 and newer 700 R4s. 
Um, that's the variety type of Speedo gears and, and type setups that are available on the 700. If you have any further questions on Speedo gears or types or how to calibrate your, your vehicle so the odometer is accurate, give our customer service reps a call at 1-800-708-0087. And again, this is Kurt from Kurt's Corner. Have a great day.